Maps I find entertaining. The most popular web browsers in different countries in 2012 and in 2022. So in April 2012, you can see that Internet Explorer was dominating the US, Canada, the United Kingdom, some Scandinavian countries. And then interestingly, we've got Mozilla Firefox is popular throughout Europe. And then Google Chrome is popular throughout South America, as well as Russia, India, a few other places. But Jack, what's the most popular web browser in 2022? Well, let's find out, dear viewers. Okay, Google Chrome everywhere, every country. Wait, no, look at that. Enhance, enhance. Microsoft Edge is the most popular country in, is that Equatorial Guinea? Uh, yes it is. That's some good geography knowledge for me. But either way, that is so weird. Why does Microsoft Edge have the edge in Equatorial Guinea and nowhere else? Google Chrome has really took over, that's crazy. South Asia right now. Oh my God, so it's showing the land surface temperature and you can see that it's between 40 and 50 degrees in most of the country. That is insane. What's the temperature where I am right now? It's 13 degrees. That's a good day, that's quite warm. In some places in India, like around here, it's over 60 degrees. That is mad. The US State Department travel advisory level for US nationals by country. So it's basically how safe does the US consider each country to travel to. So for example, in Canada, do whatever you want. Have fun, guys. Whereas in the UK, level two, exercise and increase the level of caution. Then level three, reconsider travel. So they're basically just saying, go somewhere else. Why go there? And that's what the US says about China, about Sri Lanka. New Zealand? New Zealand's a lovely place. Place. And then level four, literally just don't go there. So Russia's there, understandably. We've got a few areas in Africa. Oh, but don't worry, guys. Equatorial Guinea, level one. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna browse the internet with Microsoft Edge. It's gonna be epic. <laughs> Percentage of Europeans that think their country has benefited from being in the EU. Okay, so 71% of Sweden think, yeah, I like being in the EU. It's nice. 72% of Finland. We've got 84% of Poland. 81% of Spain. 88% of Portugal. Oh, bloody hell. 90%. 5% of Ireland think it was beneficial to be in the EU. I see what you're doing there. All right, Ireland, I see what you're doing there. You, you, okay. If you were a North Korean citizen who illegally fleed to a neighboring country, which country would you get deported to? Do you know what? I've been wondering this for a while, so I'm glad someone made a map. So if you went from North Korea to China, you'd be deported to... I genuinely don't understand. Very interesting map. Thank you. Armenian and Greek populations before and after genocide in modern day Turkey. Guys, the video is called Maps I Find Then entertaining. Can we keep it light, guys? Can we keep it light? Uh. President Biden's net approval in each state on inauguration versus April. Okay, so this is what people thought of him when he first became president, and this is what people think now. Ooh, a lot more disapproving. I mean, there's still a lot of disapproving to begin with. Politically, America's got a lot of strong opinions, and you can quote me on that. The Yuxi Circle, world's most overpopulated area. Ah, oh, it's got a name! Obviously, I've known that this circle of countries has a lot of people in it, but I've never seen that it's called the Yuxi Circle. Look how barren this area area of China is, by the way. We can't look at China on Google Maps, can we? Oh, we can look at a couple of little spots. Well, let's go there, see what happens. Well, that's nice. I mean, I was expecting something slightly more dramatic. I want to see, like, mountains and waterfalls and a monkey. Yes! That's more like it. It's just missing a monkey. Kai, put a little monkey up there. Fantastic. Countries which offer paid maternity leave and the time they provide for expecting mothers. Is that true? The US doesn't offer paid maternity leave? That's mental! I didn't know that. That's so strange. I mean, you know, I could expect it from Papua New Guinea, but the US? You guys get it sorted out. Even Africa offers paid maternity leave. You've got no excuse. Beavers in Europe. 1900s, there were very few beavers in Europe. Whereas in 2021, you can't move for beavers. Beavers all over the place. There's too many beavers, to be honest. Someone needs to clamp down on all the beavers. <laughs> World Cup winners. That is not that many places. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The same eight countries keep winning the World Cup. That's quite interesting, to be fair. Does country import more from Germany or France? Finally, someone asking the real questions. Most places import from Germany. A few places in Africa import more from France. There we have it. <laughs> Not really sure what to say about that, but there you go. The 1848 French presidential election. Napoleon had 74% of the votes, and oh, Alexandra's had a nightmare there. What happened, Alexandra? The most Google country in March in 2021 and in 2022. Okay, so it's going to be flooded with Russia and Ukraine, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of people Google in Ukraine, which, you know, is nice to see, I suppose. Previously, though, this time last year, it's quite interesting to see. We've got Ireland Googling the UK, which makes sense, and then UK has been Googling the US. I wonder why Norway and Finland have been Googling little Sweden in the middle. What's Sweden been up to? Botswana's GDP per capita versus fellow African countries in 1966 versus 2021. Right, has it? 
it improved or gotten worse? Let's find out. Oh my god, it's gotten a lot better. $18,000 compared to $90. However, the rest of Africa has had a nightmare there. But from Equatorial Guinea, there is something going down in Equatorial Guinea. Book me a plane ticket. I'm trying to look at airplane ticket prices to Equatorial Guinea, and all that's happened is it's Googled the planes movie. Okay, I'd like to go from Manchester to Equatorial Guinea. Yes. Oh my god, we could get there for 900 pounds. Oh, that is something to think about. One million subs. <laughs> coffee consumption in Europe. Scandinavia going mad for their coffee. Look at that. 25.1 in Luxembourg. Oh, and I don't blame them. Look how pleasant that cafe looks. Oh, and look at this one. Look at that croissant. Oh, it looks delightful in there. They've got upside down bikes on the wall and everything. I tell you what, your boy is stopping off at Luxembourg on his way to Equatorial Guinea. Romania shaded relief map with official flag colours for elevation gradients. I like these maps. They're always very pretty, aren't they? Also, do make me feel slightly uncomfortable if I look too closely at like bits like this. But overall, that's pretty and a nice way to see the topography of the country. I made a 3D map based on a 1660 map of New Amsterdam slash New York. Oh. So if I'm understanding, New York was originally called New Amsterdam when the Dutch, like, took over it. And this is the map that the fellas used, and he's made this 3D model with it, which is actually pretty cool. Look at that! Look at the little fella with the stick! Oh, what happened there? Who's that fella on horse? Why is he so squished? Isn't it insane to think about this as what New York once looked like? Look, they've got, like, giant pigs wandering about and everything. That's really cool, actually. I assume the creators just took people from paintings of New Amsterdam, which, uh, yeah, it's a really cool concept. Great work! Ed not a horse, very nice. Main import partner of country slash regions. Wait, you mean people import from places other than Germany and France? I think not. As you can see, basically everything is made in China. Although, actually, apparently the UK import more stuff from Germany, which really surprises me, because like everything that I see has made in China written on it. That's really quite interesting. Doggerland, 8000 BC. Yes, Doggerland was an area of land within Europe that has since been submerged in water, because this was like 10,000 years ago, but look at that. See, the UK used to be connected to the rest of the country. Denmark used to have a lot more going on, although obviously it was not Denmark at that point. Isn't that mad? Wouldn't it be cool to see, like, the fossils that are under there if anyone could get down to it? Oh my god, it's a moving map. The Humanity Globe, World Population Density. Whoa, look at that. It's spinning. It's got stuff sticking out of it. Oh, it's fantastic. Isn't it interesting how few people live in this large area of the United States? And then scrolling down to Asia, you can see, obviously, we've got all the main culprits with a lot of red pointiness. In case anyone's interested, you can order a free map of Europe as a citizen of the... Oh, <laughs> that's so sad. I was so excited. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Europe on r slash place. Oh, that's so epic. I wish that I'd managed to get involved in r slash place, but I was just not available when it was all going down. Look, <laughs> oh my god, look at the Russia representation. <laughs> that looks epic, though. It was really cool seeing the community come together. I tell you what, Turkey absolutely nailed it. Me and my friend spent seven months mapping the whole world's languages. Whoa. Enhance, enhance, enhance. Oh, look how linguistically boring the British Isles is. In fact, same with Europe, basically, country to country. But then we scrolled out Africa and... Holy crap, this map really did take you a long time. Africa is just so culturally diverse, it's insane. Like, each one of these has different languages. That is crazy. Where else can we go? Oh, we've ended up in uh, South America. We've got a lot of Portuguese there. We've also scrolling over to Australia, where it's just, you know, English. But then I bet we get up to, like, Papua New Guinea, and yeah, it's all going on once again. Same with Indonesia. Oh, this is a pretty, pretty map. Look at that. Wow! Map of Norway with all of her claims. Okay, Norway has claimed Norway, fair enough. Also the- oh, I can't remember what they're called. The something islands, it begins with an F. The Faroe Islands, looks like a cool place with lots of like really nice scenery. Let's like have a click on here. Oh, look at that! That's somewhere that I'd like to go and it's cheaper than Equatorial Guinea too. So where else have Norway claimed? That little place there, isn't that like the most hard to reach island in the world? Bouvet Island, that's the one. Yeah, apparently it's like one of the most remote areas in the world. And then Norway also has claimed a big pizza slice of Antarctica, just like many other countries do. European street food map. Fish and chips in the UK, really going wild there. Oh, look at the Zapikanka in Poland. Get me one of them, that looks amazing. I think I've shown this one before, but it's pretty crazy, so we'll show it again. No one lives in the green part of New Zealand. The population density there is zero people per km, and that is about 78% of the New Zealand land. Yeah, once you get out of Auckland, it's just empty, and it's very beautiful. The Landhemisphere 
hemisphere containing 80% of Earth's land surface and its counterpart, the water hemisphere. That's a nice way of looking at it. You put the world at a certain angle and you've got all this land on one side and then you've got almost all water directly on the other side. A jigsaw of Africa made it in 1965. A lot more simplistic here. We've got less countries. It's definitely an interesting piece of history to look at a map like that. So I just assumed it was Europeans that made the puzzle, but I think the language might actually be Afrikaans, potentially. Just on a little Google, by the way, and according to this, Africans themselves preferred to spell Africa with a K, and then the Europeans came and switched it to C, just to be unnecessarily mean about it. Well, let's switch it back, it's never too late. Modernized map of what the Vikings believed the outside of Europe looked like. Really? That's so interesting. They thought the whole thing was land. Why? I wonder why. For any Vikings watching, that was a big assumption to make. I like seeing all the words, though, and how similar they are. Like, in Egypt, you've got Egyptaland, and then Teichland in Turkey, and Groenland in Greenland. It makes you think about how old words are, you know what I mean? But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found these entertaining maps entertaining. If you did, subscribe, and I'll see you later.